Welcome to Teen Time with the Livermore Public Library. My name is Caitlin and I am your teen programming librarian. Today we are going to make duct tape wallets. That's right, it has space for all of your most important cards, plus tons of cash. <laughs> <laughs> We're also going to take a look at a great e-resource. It is practice tests for your driving test. So it's a great way for you to study to get your learner's permit. And of course, we have some great book recommendations from librarian Jennifer, our teen literature expert. Are you ready to make a wallet? This is a fairly simple wallet with pockets for a few cards, plus a really cool uh, transparent part where you can put your ID or your library card, perhaps. <laughs> so let's take a look at how you can make a wallet just like this one.
So now that you have a wallet, wouldn't you want something cool to put in it? <laughs> if you are about to get your driver's license, uh, here's a great resource to help you study for your learner's permit test. Today's featured e-resource can be found in our digital library. Click on the blue box at the top right of the library's homepage and you'll be taken to the digital library. In the left hand column, third one down, you'll find the automobiles button. Click on it and you'll find the driving permit practice tests. This database has tons of practice questions to help you study for your driving test. The DMV is slowly opening back up, so now's a great time to practice and get some studying done. There are practice tests for car tests, commercial driving tests, and motorcycle tests. There are also handy links if you would like to download the driver's handbook. We'll come back to the California DMV frequently asked questions later. Certain tests are available in Spanish and Russian. Back under car tests, you'll find a series of practice tests grouped together by difficulty. There are six easy level tests plus one massive test that includes all easy test questions. Scroll down and you will find more difficult test questions to challenge you. Near the bottom of the page, you'll find an exam simulator. This will have 46 random questions from any of the above tests. It has the same number of questions as a real test, the same number you can skip, and the same passing score. However, unlike the practice test up above, there are no hints and no explanations. A great thing about this exam simulator is that you get new questions every time you retake it. This is a great way to ensure that you have the breadth of knowledge necessary to pass the real thing. Below that, there's a handy chart telling you when you are eligible to first take your tests and receive your driver's license. At the very bottom of the page, you'll find the California driver's license and permit FAQs. If you had clicked on the button at the top of the page, this is where it would take you. This is a great wealth of information if you have any questions about who can get a driver's license, when you can get a driver's license, and more. Now let's go back up to the top of the page and take a look at what one of these practice tests look like. Let's start on practice test one. So here's our first question. What is the first thing you should do during an enforcement stop? It's a multiple choice question, so you need to choose which answer is correct. Once you click on it, it gives you the appropriate reasoning as to why you are correct or not. If you are unsure about the answer to the question, there is a hint button and it gives you a small hint in order to help you get the question right. But even if you do get it wrong, it still tells you which one is right and why. All in all, this is a great resource for anyone looking to take a driving test and get their driver's license in the near future. Give it a try and good luck on your tests. Yes, that's right. Jennifer has two more great book recommendations for us. Both are available on Overdrive. Let's take a look. Without a doubt, the criminal justice system is in the news and on our minds. Teen fiction can provide insights into the lives of those affected by crime and the justice system. But sometimes reading a ripped from the headline story will have an impact that will resonate and stick with you in different ways. For librarian Jennifer, The 57 Bus by Dashka Slater was one such story. The 57 Bus is a nonfiction that reads like fiction, story that took place in Oakland. Yes, the Oakland here in the Bay Area. Sasha is an agender teen whose skirt is lit on fire while they ride the bus home from school. Richard is the one who did the lighting. You'll get to know both teens before their story intertwines with the burning incident and you get tremendous insight into the criminal justice process, including the punishments that were given. The 57 bus will have you thinking about crime and punishment, about gender identity, and most importantly, about looking beyond a face to know who is really there. 
As librarian Jennifer wrote these reviews for you, she realized that she picked two very heavy stories for you this week. She apologizes, but promises that both are excellent reads. Jarrett J. Krasowska penned and illustrated the autobiographical graphic novel, Hey Kiddo, about his youth. In kindergarten, Jarrett was asked to draw his family, and the teacher insisted that he draw a mother and a father. But Jarrett's family story is a bit more complicated than that. His mother was an addict, his father a complete mystery, and he lived with his loud and opinionated grandparents. If you think, I won't identify with this story, then you will be surprised. Whether you see only bits or huge chunks, this memoir undoubtedly will showcase part of nearly every young life. It is raw, open, and unflinching. So that's it for Teen Time with the Livermore Public Library. Thank you so much for joining us. I do hope that you enjoy making yourself a duct tape wallet and I really hope that the practice tests are helpful for when you get your learner's permit. Enjoy the books that Jennifer has recommended and I will see you next time.